Hey, Crowbar Gym, downtown Leesburg. I am Hansel Conroy. This is Bryce. I'm Bryce, yep. Excellent. We're right here at the gym, right next to the ARX machines, right here. And uh, I'm going to ask Bryce about his experience after he did a prolong box, right? So we had a video previously on uh, how he did his prolong. Uh, it's a prolong technically is a five day mimicking fast. Uh, so that's what it is. And then what I think it was what, like, what is like the third or fourth day we decided to train? Right. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So we decided to train on that on that time. But now I'm going to ask him how his fast was after he's done. So that's the big thing. So after now you had your five days, right? Mm -hmm. And his experience after his five days, because we already got the experience on how he was. You were definitely very tired. Yeah, that was a big one. Yeah. <laughs> so now what did you notice when you got off the prolong box? So like the first day usually is recommended, like they want you to ease into a diet and stuff right. like that. Mm -hmm. So explain to me like how that went. So yeah, um, you're, you're pretty much used to it at that point. One, mm -hmm. you know, you're not eating as much. You don't want to take in a whole lot because then your entire and, biome. Yeah. And the last day is 500 food. calories, literally just 500. Yeah. That's I don't know if I stayed to 500, but yeah. I, I still ate less than what I usually. So wanted. did you finish the whole box at the end of the day? Finish the whole box. Okay. Yeah. You did. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then uh, when you got off, like what's the first thing you ate? Uh, the first thing that I ate uh, was like some rice and some veggies. It you know, it and then how did it feel? Bread. How did that feel? It felt pretty good. Pretty good. Then you got more into complex food, right? Yeah. And how did that go? What, what was the kind of experience you experienced? Uh, it was, you could taste a lot more afterwards. Mm -hmm. The it. flavor of everything, after not having it for a week, mm -hmm. it enhances the flavor mm -hmm. a lot. Gotcha. So. so then, so you, so then like things that you normally, like maybe if you like trashy food, right? Mm -hmm. If you ate those before, how did you feel eating them again? Uh, personally, I felt okay. <laughs> yeah, so you didn't, so you didn't have a problem. Though. Yeah, I didn't gotcha. have a problem. Yeah, some people. So I don't think. I mean, you're pretty young, so like right. you don't have any <laughs> cellular damage. So that's a that's a thing. Mm -hmm. So some people, if they've been eating Twinkies all their life, and then like all of a sudden you remove them, right, and then you bring them back, they're like, oh yeah, I had cellular damage, and then they'll get like pains and aches and things like that. But you didn't really receive any of. Those. So the bottom line is, you're pretty healthy, right? And right. So you already. I think you ate pretty clean to begin with. Yeah. But the experiment. Any behavioral differences in, in general? Uh, Behavior-wise, you're just a lot more hungry. We got you. Um, no, how about now, though? Like, how about now? Like, in the sense of, like, looking at your diet or anything of that nature? As far as behavior, nothing yeah. much has changed. Nothing much has changed. Yeah. But you're pretty much already pretty healthy anyways. Yeah, right. Like, so, think what you're, like, tracking your calories right now, mm -hmm. right? And then what's kind of, like, your basic meals that you usually get? Like, a lot of, what, rice, if I yeah, remember correctly? Yeah, a lot of rice, yeah. yeah like, uh, you know, um, I think, like... I think, how about the oil? How, because I know that's something yeah. you can't get away with too, too well, much. Well, oil has gone down a little bit, mm -hmm. um, so I'm happy about that. Okay, when you I overeat mean, the oil, did it ever bother you? Yeah, I felt inflammation in my joints Okay, and things like that. Yeah, I know you have something in your back, you were saying yeah, one. Yeah, shoulder right here, yeah. So when you were doing the, the when you were doing the prolon, right, did that feel better or worse? It did feel slightly better. It mm -hmm. wasn't like a huge difference. It wasn't a huge difference. But it, it was something. It was something, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's, it's a lot of, I think a lot of that is structural, meaning like you'll have to go in there and maybe do a massage or something like that. Right. I don't think it's true inflammation, like cellular inflammation, like right. that you're actually getting from food or anything else. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. That was your experience. Right. And then now that you're eating more and stuff like that, did you see like a big difference like in the in the sense of like how your body reacted now that you you know, like you're bringing back the food. Yeah, very much I mean, so. Very yeah. much so. My my waist has definitely cleared up, and like my gut, I feel is healthy. Oh, okay. I'm not That's having good. stomach problems. I'm good. not feeling like urges anymore because now I can incorporate. Things. That's right. That's really what it's for. That's why we say you know behavior modification. Mm -hmm. You know, some people just come off of it, and this is very true, especially if they have already done a lot of um, a lot of fasting or if they've done a whole bunch of like healthy habits like they'll they'll do it as a, like a weight loss thing or they'll do it just like kind of get on track so then usually when they come back out of it it's like oh you know it's it's worked i got lean and then they stay there and stuff like that other people have this whole yo-yoing thing where they go back to their old eating plan and you know their whiskey or whatever the case is i like whiskey so i like to say that once in a while but when you do go back to eating and and the way you did that was actually bothering you what will end up happening is just that you get like oh you know what i, I don't want to have that you know i don't want to have that sausage i'm just gonna like eat a little bit of it, it makes me gross it grosses you out or something like that right or it's uh, like oh i had the pizza and all the cheese in there is grossing you out so that's uh something that people do experience but you know it seems like your experience is pretty positive yeah. and it's going forward and then, honestly, for you, like doing a, um, you know, doing another prolong box, I would honestly just do it like once a year because yeah. you don't truly need it right. because of the fact that like 
I mean, unless like you had a birthday party, but like even then, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Man. I think you seem to get on track right away. Yeah. And that's very common for a younger person who's into fitness. Mm -hmm. They're like, hey, I'm going to regiment everything, right? right. So it's, uh, like I said, like this is a good product. You know, put the link down at the bottom again. Um, so if you need to get back on track, this is the way to do it. And, um, some people do this like four times a year. I do it eh, probably maybe like five, specifically around the holidays, just because, you know, uh, we, you know, we love to party. That's how it goes. Yeah. All right. So uh, Crowbar Jim out, and uh, hope you guys check out his workout, too, as well, that we'll be posting soon. And, uh, yeah, we'll be talking about more prolon and fasting and some nutrition. And uh, I am going to plug this in, too, as well. If you haven't gone to our open house, we have a flyer flying around there somewhere out in outer space, uh, you know, so hopefully it hits you up. But it is going to be this weekend if I post this on the right time. Other than that, take care. Grow by your mouth.